this is Shelly Diaz from School Library Journal. I'm the reviews manager at SLJ and also the editor of the SLJ Teen Newsletter. And I'm here with Nina LaCour, author of We Are OK and many other wonderful books, which was published on February 14th by Dutton, an imprint of Penguin Young Readers. So Nina, why don't you tell us a little bit about We Are OK and what inspired you to write that book? We Are OK is the story of a college freshman named Marin. Marin has been raised by her grandfather. She's an orphan. And she, um, after the death of her grandfather, kind of fled from San Francisco, her hometown, to go to college early. So she arrives in upstate New York before school is about to start. And it's the story of her grief and what happened upon her grandfather's death. And also the story of her friendship with um, her high school best friend, Mabel, who flies to New York to try to convince her to come home for the holidays with her. And so Mabel and Marin have been estranged um, because Marin has, has shut her out. And to further complicate things, Marin and Mabel's relationship turned romantic before um, before all of this happened. And so they were kind of in this phase where um, you know they had been best friends, they fell in love, it became physical. And then Mabel went to college, and then Marin ran away, and so a lot was left unresolved. And so they're working out a lot of feelings um, in this upstate New York dorm room during a snowstorm. All right. And what inspired you to write it? A lot of things went into it. Um, I started writing it about a year after the death of my own grandfather, so I was grieving um, that kind of loss. Um, however, the grandfather in the book and my grandfather don't really have very much in common at all. And my relationship with my grandfather was very simple and loving, um, whereas Marin's and her gramps, it was also loving, but it was a lot more complicated. But that was part of it. That kind of grief was part of it. And also just that feeling that I think may be kind of universal when something happens in somebody's life that causes this giant shift in perspective and they have to kind of reassess everything that's happened to them and they're kind of thrown into this... Um, emotional tumult and, you know, just trying to, to make sense of, of everything in their life. So are, are there any LGBTQ authors or books that are upcoming that you're looking forward to? Absolutely. Um, well, I'm really excited. It's already come out, but History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera is the book that I'm most excited to read. <laughs> well, that should be really awesome. It should be. So uh, speaking of other YA books with LGBTQ authors, are there what are your five top um, titles that you would recommend? Okay, that's such a tough one. Um, <laughs> I love Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Um, I think that's just such a beautiful, moving book. And it's also, I have an affinity for books that are kind of like quietly compelling and patiently tell this story with beautiful language and a lot of insights. And so I really love that one. I recently read Georgia Peaches and Other Forbidden Fruit, and I also loved that. It was um, really fun because most of my books take place with... Um, I grew up in San Francisco. I have always lived in California. It's a very liberal place to live. And so my characters don't face the same kinds of issues um, with their sexuality as, you know, um, teens in other places in the country or world might. And so that was a really cool one because I got to see kind of a different perspective of what it would be like to live in, you know, um, the South while coming out and, and navigating that. I love all of Melinda Lowe's books. Um, Ash particularly has a... Um, nice place in my heart. And um, I love David Levithan's work, of course. Um, and Two Boys Kissing is my favorite of his. Oh, Simon versus the Homo Sapiens yes. Agenda. I love that one so much. So what is your favorite LGBTQ um, book, whether it's YA or adult? So I'm going to go for a kind of strange answer for this one and say Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. I love Virginia Woolf. I 
was in a college class um, about only her novels when I met um, my then girlfriend, now wife. So she has a special place in our hearts. Um, and Mrs. Dalloway, though, you know, it, it's not really so much about LGBTQ issues. There is this like very powerful relationship that Clarissa Dalloway has with her old friend Sally. And the way that Virginia Woolf describes this relationship, it's like they shared one kiss, but it was like the pinnacle of Clarissa Dalloway's life. And I always think about that um, when I think about that book. So That's a gorgeous book. I, love I loved it. it so much. And our last question, and I know authors really don't like when we ask these questions, but maybe you can share a little bit about what you're currently working on. I am currently working on a novel, um, another YA novel, and it has to do with sibling relationships and um, kind of, it, it's also a grief novel, but in a different way and then we are okay. Um, but it's a novel about a sister and her little brother who are kind of on their own due to um, a circumstance which I will not reveal. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks so much for sharing with us and our SLJ viewers. And I can't wait for everyone to read We Are Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for having <laughs> me.